Hey guys, Black here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get Misfire Flicker or the effect that Faze Agony does on a lot of his montages, like the flashing or flickering on the top of the screen. Alright, first off, what you want to do is go to your internet browser, whatever it is, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox. And uh, once you're there, just copy the link in the description and paste it up in the URL bar. I already have it copied, so it's... Uh, it's in my history of copy whatever it is and then once you're on the page click download now and it should come down here somewhere if you're using Google Chrome if you're using Internet Explorer to like come up in the middle of the screen saying run or save as I would pick save as and save it to your desktop but uh you have to wait five seconds here but uh, once it's done just click down here and you will need WinRAR to run this. So, okay. Once it's open, close that. Extract the file to your desktop. Click OK. It'll take like two seconds to extract it. Then you can exit out of both of these things. And uh, this is what the file will look like. It'll have the file picture and then it'll say Misfire Flicker. Okay. So what these numbers mean on the titles Misfire Flicker 1, 2, 3, and 4 is 1 being the slowest and 4 being the fastest as in like the flashing like it flashes or flickers faster or slower whichever one you're picking and 2 and 3 are just in the middle. Alright, now exit out of that and uh, now I'm going to show you how to like use it on a clip if it's just a video file okay what you'll want to do is open up your uh, Sony Vegas I think it works on almost all of them because all you gotta do is uh, just change the composition mode or whatever it is but um, once Sony Vegas is opened you'll want to come up here to file import media and then import your video I'm just going to use this Dazzle Twixture test. This is, by the way, unedited. All it has is uh, just Twixture. It has like no color correction or anything. Um, then import your Misfire Flicker. I'm going to use number two. And now insert a video track. And then put your Misfire Flicker in. Uh, click the video and press U, the letter U on the keyboard. And then delete that and then delete the uh, actual track now once that's done you'll see on the screen like you can't see the actual video what you actually have to do is click that little green button down there click add and uh, now you can see it with the misfire flicker over it and uh, it looks really bad because I have it on draft quarter as you see which is the lowest quality you can get I'm just doing that so I don't lag but it looks a lot better if you add color correction to this video down there and uh, that's pretty much it you can extend the video the misfire flicker if you want because it won't affect it at all but uh, other than that uh, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe I'm gonna put the actual edited video with music after and uh, yeah see you guys the voices inside my head are taking over